Yeah, there's a scene at the this uh, poppy movie in the, the 80s. And that kind of scene was like a pretty evident there and uh, profound that uh, there was uh, a person protesting in front of a bank. Well, the sign said, uh, not economically viable, which, like, uh, hits home there when uh, you're a defense uh, contractor, when uh, an aerospace uh, defense company uh, decided to let you go for obvious reasons. But then uh, let's not uh, talk about that, like, uh, on uh, this other scene where... Uh, on his uh, journey home, which uh, he uh, goes through, um, sort of like a, like a gated community in, a, in one of those uh, cul-de-sacs, and like uh, he meets a family there with uh, the head of the household was uh, plastic surgery. He's a plastic surgeon. And of course, then he realizes that, yeah, like, uh, what paid for all this? Like, uh, plastic surgery? And of course, like, and I mentioned, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, they lied to him. They lied to him, like, uh, how, like, uh, he has a job, but, like, of course, uh, he just lost his job. Well, it was, like, a pretty sad moment there, uh, on his realization. Of course, it's more like, uh, what the job lost mean? Like, uh, of course, uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, on, uh, we're back in the mid to the late 80s. And then John McCougar Mellencamp, uh, written a song, like, uh, due to this, uh, crisis that's going on with, uh, farms, farmers, uh, having their land, uh, foreclosed on. Do the crop failures and uh, not enough money to buy the seed there. So it's pretty much like uh, evident there, which uh, very little was done there. Of course, uh, Farm Aid was started by uh, the musicians, but uh, there was probably one enough there to let it get so uh, epidemic, uh, like so catastrophic where people lost their love, livelihoods and their homes and their farms. Like a song title was like uh, some of you know like uh, living way back up in the 80s there. Rain on the Scarecrow, Blood on the Plow. You know, it's like a pretty like an Evanster song like uh, which uh, also hits home due to this uh, big uh, Financial crisis uh, that hit pretty well in the eighties, there also due to the stringent uh, means uh, operated by the FHA uh, farm loan companies, which uh, they didn't seem to be care about the citizens losing their farms. That was this business as usual. So this like I probably. Uh, Post the video like uh, of the non economically viable scene, and also like a scene where he uh, was with the uh, the plastic surgeon and this family. But it's like uh, all evident there, which uh, the crisis which you're facing now. Are you economically viable? Are you about to be not going to be viable due to certain circumstances on uh, what's going on in uh, this day and age? And what steps should you take uh, about it or so you can become uh, another statistic? Or one statistic, uh, like a strategy uh, you should think of in uh, entrepreneurship. The mayor plan and like, uh, the company also represent, uh, like United of Wealth Education and the upper credit restoration services, identity protection. And with the mayor plan, they're looking for vendor consultants, the, the market, uh, their services, discounts and dental, vision and chiropractic care, as well with uh, telemedicine 
and savings on prescription drugs. Like uh, both companies do uh, full-out training there. So, like, uh, you learn how to sell by social media, learning how to sell, like, uh, the other people on the street there. And, like, uh, there's pretty uh, a wide variety of uh, tips and resources that you can use uh, to generate uh, traffic uh, to your own website. So it's just like William Drosky, you know, it's like, uh, just hit me an email like, uh, at my website, uh, dumb, dumbexperts.com, which uh, the link is also up below. So don't forget to shake the money tree and like, uh, be talking about this article that uh, I'll be also posting as well. Not, not economically viable. Are you economically viable? Well, that's basically uh, like pretty much, uh, you know, based on uh, what we described here that uh, was not economically viable. And uh, the main economical constraints were the cost of uh, cage material. Uh, net and uh, the bamboo poles and the fry. Basically, uh, like, uh, there's like uh, some lessons like uh, to be uh, learned from the, the movie uh, Falling Down. And what's what's so unfortunate there? It's like uh, the lessons of that movie uh, remain unlearned. Considering the, that that screenwriter uh, Abby uh, Rose Smith himself, uh, or the Ed Rose Smith, was uh, born in Southern California, he knew uh, all too well the ripple effect that uh, transpired when uh, the aerospace and defense companies uh, left town, and then the ones. Uh, had surged in uh, the post post war uh, boom so much that uh, entailed uh, the building uh, what we can best be uh, described as artificial communities throughout Southern California places that uh, didn't really exist into uh, a slew of uh, cookie cutter uh, Houses were plopped were uh, plopped down into a cul de sac, and no one seemed to mind the the as cart uh, feeling this uh, manufactured life to uh, mirror a. Um, manufactured class. But what happens when uh, the purchases for that uh, manufactured class companies like uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, Ranthon, and Boeing, Boeing decide uh, they rather take their bills business elsewhere more to the point to uh, a city and state where more political and financial incentives. Well, in the early 90s, uh, the migration of uh, Rayathon and Lockheed Martin, or Lockheed, out of Southern California, made uh, massive dents in uh, the economy of Los Angeles uh, County that for whatever reason people you know, would have preferred to pin uh, pin on uh, the seismic shift that that seemed to be uh, timed right after uh, the Rodney King riots. Well, maybe even people like uh, William uh, Defense Foster it's like uh, starring Michael Douglas, uh, the the prototype of um, 
irrelevant white male would have preferred to place the blame uh, on an event on so recent uh, palpable, but no. But the truth uh, of the matter was, you know, the sea uh, change in the city and uh, the country it reflected and it been brewing for years. A um, collective uh, and conscious uh, decision on uh, parts of uh, the very companies that shaped the landscape to uh, rip the cushion, uh, just rip the cushion of the luxury out of the from out of, from underneath the middle and the working class, the middle class, with it. Then uh, the, the veneer that uh, once shielded how the only two classes ever remain, the con uh, congenitally rich and every everyone else, to uh, compound matters, you know, like for Bill, like, uh, which in the movie, however, he faced with uh, like the stark realization. That being a white middle aged uh, male no longer bears, bears any stamp on power either. Stripped of his uh, livelihood and clout of his uh, color and gender. That once thought he was uh, immutable. Immutable. Bill's tipped over the edge at the moment we're uh, introduced to him, uh, him sitting uh, in his um, mediocre car, which is a guest, Chevy Chevette, saddled with a less uh, re than uh, mediocre life. As his eyes scan, like if you watched uh, like, uh, the beginning of the movie, it's like... Um, You know, it's just like, uh, you know, the rise scanned to, uh, oppressive sounding surroundings, like a bumper sticker advertising, like, uh, call for financial freedom. Like, it's just, just one of many, uh, entities, uh, along with, uh, the grinny gold dark field, uh, doll attached to the inside window of a car. That seemed to be uh, mocking him as uh, he suffocates and sweats in his uh, vehicle in an odd, in a scene highly uh, reminiscent of an opening uh, traffic jam. But it's like uh, obviously, you know, not the ecological like viable. It's uh, pretty much like, uh, gives like, uh, premise to the uh, movie. And it's like, um, it's like, uh, like uh, unable to withstand, like, uh, the heat, like, uh, and, uh, you know, the weather. Literally, like, um, I mean, the Metaphorically, or uh, under the second, you know, he uh, decides to exit the uh, car and walks off the freeway, uh, announcing to the angry man behind him, like, uh, this, like uh, in his vehicle, that he's going home. And, like, uh, and the police uh, sergeant uh, named Martin uh, Prendergast, like, uh, starring Robert Duvall, happens to... Uh, insert himself into the drama when they uh highway patrol him and um called the scene to uh invoke his tow truck like which uh Pedras insists like uh, they instead moved the car to the side of the road like and they're intervening uh despite the fact that like it is uh his last day on his job and then something tells, like, uh, the patrolman only after he's gotten him to, uh, 
to uh, agree to as well. Call it the uh, intimate intuition of the weird thing of being a good detective. But uh, Peter gets, uh, gets the sense that uh, towing the vehicle will somehow uh, cause more harm to uh, whoever uh, abandoned it. And like um, this, this is also like uh, his first uh, kismet uh, entertainment uh, with Bill, who um, something to act for these uh, well sound like a major alarm bells and uh, pedagrass like a uh, really gut feeling throughout the rest of the day. And like uh, the premise of the like, uh, movie, like uh, Bill acts rage, of course, uh, start out uh, immediately enough to spur the first by a Korean convenience store owner who sets him off by overcharging him for a can of Coke, Coca Cola. When you know, uh, Bill only buys it just like uh, for uh, 50 cents change that he has on him for uh, like a payphone that being like uh, hung up on him like uh, by his ex-wife and Vex not only by his uh, former Larry uh, Howie uh, robbery but uh, the owner's accent you know you know see so finally uh, berates him when he uh, demands like uh, 85 cent and like it returns, like, uh, what? Well, I, I don't understand. Like, you know, V, there's no V in uh, the word five, no V's in China. And where like, uh, the owner corrects, like, uh, it's like not Chinese, I'm Korean. You know, he <laughs> shrugs, like, whatever. And you come to, like, he responds, like, you come to my country, take my money. And you don't even learn my language. So this old age old tension about uh, true uh, assimilation in an argument made since the dawn of the boatloads of immigrants rolling, rolling up on both Angel and Ellis Islands had been uh, being stoked during uh, this uh, era precisely because, like, the reason it always uh, comes up, job scarcity, the, the feeling that said scarcity is only uh, further worsened by the present presence of uh, immigrants, and you know, with the uh, other factor, the, the, the root cause of the, the problem is an easy scapegoat, especially for the Increasingly, uh, in our chronic, like, uh, white man, white men who never had, uh, to think about where or how they fit into the world uh, until recently when, uh, women and minorities, uh, started asking for way too much. And at the same time, like, as, uh, Bill's, uh, the chumper's like a uh, persona signs through in when uh, moments when uh, he relates to uh, that black man outside uh, the bank with a protest sign that reads "Not Economically Viable" and his uh, empathy uh, for this man intensifies as uh, this man is arrested by the police. And the man shouts, like, uh, through his window at him. And, like, uh, it's like, uh, don't forget about me. And, like, uh, with his uh, head nod, like, uh, Bill ensures, like, I won't. But, well, how can he? Like, uh, he is him. And it's just uh, two men, like, uh, with no worth in uh, society's eyes because they're uh, an inability to... Uh, make money or be the breadwinner has been stripped from both of them setting off this uh, spiral of falling down on uh, economic ladder 
that is, and uh, consequently, the mental one is a uh, contrary nature is highlighted again when um, a white supremacist uh, at an army store, surplus store, uh, protects them from being discovered by uh, prudent uh, co-workers having uh, heard about him on uh, police radio. He listens on, in on after he shoots up uh, the Whammy Burger for uh, not giving in to uh, him, uh, not giving him a product that mirrors that what is advertised in uh, the imagery where... Um, what he, what he uh, assumes uh, Bill's like him and explaining that uh, he hides him in his uh, bunker filled with uh, Nazi uh, paraphernalia and it's like, I'm like, I'm with you, don't you get it? And he got heard about the Wamey Burger, like, which it was like, he says like, that's fantastic. It, it just looks like a bunch of Blanky blank, right? On TV? Of course, it's always uh, white kids, but you don't go in there. It's nothing but a bunch of, like, blanky blank. Uh, they spit on your food, like, uh, if you're 90, nah, he's nice to them. And I know about all that, like, I'm with you. He said, like, uh, we're the same, you and me. Don't you see? Uh, but, like, uh, Bill doesn't really see that, like, uh, he doesn't view himself as a uh, racist or uh, chauvinistic or even entitled to him. Something has just simply happened to uh, the great America he used to know. One like our uh, considerations for others outside of uh, the white male bubble of uh, supremacy. Or supremacy, that which is like uh, never necessary. Yet, I it was uh, during this so-called golden age of American life that uh, the ugliness of society was uh, ugliest of all because uh, of uh, sweeping under the rug of uh, the realities of those who really suffered to. Uh, Fortify the the illusion of the American dream. So is uh, it is what is the fear of losing all semblance of dominance and uh, permanence uh, materializes in these hostile cry for help ways of white men seemingly always. Uh, in the end, to result in uh, the use of gunfire, which is like a, like a bad end result. As uh, the lengths of Bill's rampage escalate, you know, director Joel Schumer, you know, Schumacher, you know, Joel Schumacher, or Schumacher, despite being born in New York City, captures the ascent, the essence of uh, Los Angeles uh, during uh, this period of a few others could. Who knows? You know, perhaps, uh, perhaps the fact that uh, one of the earliest gigs uh, in the film that he is like, uh, working as a costume, uh, costume designer and uh, played in as uh, the ladies, uh seeped in uh, permanently, you know, based on his ability uh, to uh, events, the sweeping uh, immensity of L.A. Yet, um, at the same time, um, it's intense uh, microcosmic uh, claustrophobia, particularly compounding uh, wilds in traffic, you know, but neither Schumacher or Schumacher or nor Smith uh, could have uh, predicted was their uh, unwillingly uh, 
cautionary tale towards uh, government uh, institutions and major corporations in uh, control of the fate of uh, people's livelihoods would uh, go unnoticed and unheeded. For it is clear that uh, what we uh, still haven't seen to learn that is regardless of your backgrounds, regardless of your background or race, you know, the brand of being uh, not economically viable makes uh, makes everyone uh, susceptible to uh, Bill's fate of uh, being uh, put out to the pasture before their time. No, you know, being like put out the pasture for um, your use of society. If you cannot uh, contribute to uh, the machine of its uh, taxes or uh, money making uh, interests, yet such such a notion gets caught up. You know, yet such a notion gets caught in uh, this vicious cycle. Of uh, governments of the governments and uh, the corp the corporations callous neglect and investing their own profits rather than uh, people people are mere just numbers to them as uh, supposed to someone to be nurtured and supported even it involves uh, purposely their uh, role by uh, training them in a new skill. You know, Atlas, like in this new world, particularly the United States, you know, what purpose do you have if you, like, uh, if you're not to make money, therefore uh, work at a job that likely has nothing to do with something you might uh, actually be passionate about? Now, furthermore, like uh, the Falling Down movie, like uh, taught us not to regard uh, the rantings and uh, mood swings of the particular person, uh, something to mock or write off. For it, it turns out we still have uh, to cater to their uh, delicate sensibilities if we want to. Uh, Keep them from uh, destroying the world. Like uh, one uh, melodramic outburst at a time. The obvious uh, incidents of this being the current, uh, like, uh, sitting or ultimate uh, beacon of toxic white uh, as orange male cultured, uh, mutated into something even more horrendous than we ever thought it could be uh, back in the, the 90s. You know, with Bill as uh, something of a blueprint for uh, for the incel turned uh, irate because he can't uh, get what he wants. Or like, uh, how or when he wants it, usually sex. You know, we see this uh, genesis kept processing or kept progressing to the mutant point that it's at now, or like uh, as elucidated by um, joking. Uh, Phoenix rendering of the Empanius character in uh, like a 2019's uh, movie, The Joker. Along the way, like a new benchmark mark for uh, anger of white males over their feelings uh, being uh, you know, acronostic like, uh, in a society that suddenly... Uh, Favored uh, other degenerates like homosexual and like uh, prostitution, prostitutes. 
you know, manifest like in such a form of uh, that have manifested in the form of uh, Columbine shootings. You know, at the same time, uh, the victimhood of uh, this uh, myth um, perpetuated by the uh, victimhood of the white male is the myth uh, perpetuated by representations like falling down. After all, there's something to be uh, said for the fact that it is still the, the privilege of uh, the white male to have uh, a full-on uh, Brittany meltdown, for uh, even this meltdown could have uh, hers without it tainting uh, the rest of her career by becoming an easy target uh, for the mockery, or it's like uh, supposedly... But that's like uh, pretty much something like uh, you need to be in, like uh, you know, you know, if you're like uh, during the this uh, economical downturn, you know, and it's like a uh, word salad, like uh, the, this uh, crisis that we're facing. Uh, some people like call it uh, like a recession. But when which actually is uh, something like a greater, like a, or a depression. So there's something like I think about, like uh, on, uh, on like uh, what do you do if you lose your job, or uh, having the fear that you lose your new job. But like uh, uh, something like I like to throw you like a lifeline. That, uh, like, uh, before, uh, something drastic happens, uh, before you get pink slipped or, uh, get, um, X'd out or, uh, 86 in, uh, the job market, which, um, you know, got you know, provide uh, credit restraint services and, uh, you could probably make a cushy new, uh, career move in the, in the credit restriction business. And there's other companies, uh, such as Ameriplan, that you can also market and sell to other people uh, in your, like, uh, frame of mind in your friendship group or, uh, doing out there, like, uh, making, like, a new career out of, like, uh, offering, uh, services, uh, on savings on dental. Vision and chiropractic care with, uh, which AmeriPlan also provides as well prescriptions, drugs, like savings on, uh, prescription drugs, drugs, and also like, uh, telemedicine. So this is like a William Trotsky. If you like my videos there, hit the like button here. Don't forget to share this video far and wide. And don't forget to subscribe there. And remember, don't forget to shake the money tree.